Okay, so this is the lab for database for beginners and hopefully in 12 minutes we'll be able to complete this lab. Uh, we have 10 items there, so what I want to tell you is to just carefully follow the instructions as uh, so I'm doing it, try to follow. Um, I'm going to remove all of this because we are starting afresh. So, let's remove this um, so that as we finish we'll be able to check what we've done so far. So the first thing we are going to do, as you can see there, in step one is to open Microsoft Access. Is to open Microsoft Access. I have Microsoft Access, so go ahead and type Access and then I use Microsoft Access 2010, but this will also work for Microsoft Access 2007 or 2003 to, or 2013 or even higher. So go ahead to give it a name. I would like to call it a, a training You can also use a different name altogether Alright, so if you have named it correctly, okay, is in use. I oh, want to replace. Yes, replace it wherever it is. Go ahead to say open access, done. Create a database, done. So the next thing is to create and rename, uh, create a table and rename it to TBL student. That is uh, step three. So now we have table one. So what you are going to do to be able to rename it is to right click and just go straight to design view and it asks you to save it with a name and just go ahead to type tbl student tbl student if you have done that correctly it gives us a uh, tbl student this is uh, the design view of this particular table so I'm going to just add a few fields. Remember we say uh, fields, so that is why it's telling us field name. First name, sorry, let me type it correctly. First name, last name, and let's just say age, age, okay, oh no, let's say dates of uh, birth. Or date of admission. All right. So date of admission in data type. Just go ahead to choose date time, and click on the save uh, button right there. So we've completed creating a table and renaming it to TBL students. The nice one is to create a table and rename it to TBL faculties. So to create a new table, just go to you can see the create tab here, click on it, create and choose table. I have it as table 1 and then rename it to TBL faculties. To do that, just right click and go straight to the design view and just give it a name TBL faculties. If I'm too fast, please uh, just let me know uh, in the comments or you can just uh, pause the video and make sure you follow. So faculties, we have under the field name, let's have faculty name and have location then we have remarks everything is going to be test for now let's uh, leave this ID you remember we have this ID is always uh, uh, appearing there each time we start creating a table so I've created TBL students and uh, TBL faculties, uh, very very fine. So I can just click on save and I can go ahead to close the two of them. Close. So let's see where we are in the procedures. We've created a table that is number four and rename it to TBL faculties done. The next thing we are going to do is to create a primary key called registration number in the TBL uh, students table. We now want to create a primary key in the TBL students table. So what you are going to do 
right click and go all the way straight to the design view so that we'll be able to create a primary key uh, if you click on each of the fields you find out that only the first one is recognized as a key how do I know? you have a little key icon beside it there as you can see this little key icon so what we are going to change this to we said we need to create a primary key and call it registration number in the TBL students table so this ID we have to rename it to registration number alright so we've renamed it to registration number and the, the data type uh, let's not call it auto number let's call it well let's call it uh, text because a student registration number uh, is actually text after I'm going to explain to you how it works but for now we've created a, a key there's a primary key and named the registration number for the TBL students table alright let's look at the next one the next item I can just say number five done number six create a primary key faculty code in the faculties table so what you do you go to the faculties table go to design view and then we are going to change this ID to faculty code to faculty codes that represents the primary key for this table so let's go ahead to to change this to test we can also leave as auto number but let's change it to test I hope you are following because I know this is uh, a very straightforward procedure and the next nice thing we are going to do is to we check off that we've done this add three records to each of the tables so we are going to add three records to each of the tables for the students table I'm going to open this time don't click design view just go ahead to click on open let's say registration number let's just say arrow 2 arrow 1 ok let's say arrow 1 first name let's say me kind son you can make up fictitious name uh, there uh, Mononye and the date of admission one thing you need to know is that you have this uh, little calendar icon click on it and choose a date for the next student we have arrow 2 and let me use the name of my kid sister Saffron Imola De uh, dates of admission uh, let's just click anything there alright and then my friend uh, arrow 3 or oh, uh, you can just use any name you feel like date of admission there should be anything so we've added three records in the TBL students table and then go ahead to save in TBL faculties table open it and add a few records let's say F8 or uh, let's use F F1 faculty name computer science ok let's just call it uh, sciences location is uh, let's just enter fictitious name there and then say a large uh, F2 let's say humanities and let's say main faculty and then add F3 uh, let's just call it engineering you can actually be more creative and make up something you can even add a uh, little more text on the remarks and then let's call it all right so remarks should be uh, small faculty so we've completed adding records so let's see where we are in the stream of time 
add trade records to each table done add a foreign key uh, in the faculty code add a foreign key faculty code to the tbl students table remember a foreign key is a key in another table but not the primary key in that table in the tbl students table we have the primary key to be registration number so we, if we are adding this faculty code key in the students table that becomes a foreign key so to be able to add faculty code as a foreign key to tbl students table right click and go straight to the design view and just say just add it as a fourth uh, field faculty code and allow it as test we've completed that how easy so close and then the next one you want to add a, a key okay so we added a foreign key faculty code to the tbl students table number nine we are going to create a relationship between the two tables using the faculty code foreign key now you really need to pay attention to this it's really very important because that is a key to understanding uh, databases or relational database so now we have two tables they are not related in any way except we have created a foreign key in one but that doesn't mean that they are related so we are going to create a relationship between these two tables so what we are going to do is go ahead to click on database tools database tools and go to relationship add the two tables by holding the control key and selecting the two of them make sure two of them are selected and say add to be able to create a relationship between two tables you drag the primary key to the foreign key uh, say it quickly five times drag the primary key to the foreign key or drag the primary key to the equivalent foreign key so this as the faculty code is the primary key and the faculty code here is a foreign key drag the primary key to the foreign key i'm going to drag this primary key straight drop it straight on the foreign key the corresponding foreign key and just say create all right we've created the relationship how easy it is so easy so i ensure you follow and let me know if you are making progress so just go ahead to say yes to save and we've succeeded in creating a relationship between the two tables this is a simple one but this is generally how to create relationship and this is a key to how databases work open the tbl faculties table and check that the relationship works so let's open the faculties table right click and open so now you see a little plus sign beside each of the uh, records that tells us that it works just to give a little more proof that it works let's add uh, some data to the student table maybe you follow along so for the student one let's assume that he belongs to faculty two so then two belong to faculty one and so then three belong to also faculty one the relationship we have created is one to many relationship what it means one faculty to many relationship just take a look at database tools again and get to sorry uh sorry let's let's uh, test that it works first so now tbl faculty table if you click on the plus sign nothing on the plus sign for two you have a record there uh this kind son mononye that is me belonging to to f2 faculty although i'm not in humanities but i think the explanation is quite clear so maybe we just uh, close and just reopen it so how about this f1 faculty you have two persons in the f1 faculty f2 we have so if this is the behavior of your own uh, uh, database they know that it's really really working i was saying something about one to many relationship let me just quickly see the relationship we created and then you see uh is one to many so it means that one faculty can actually take many students so if we go to relationship uh, okay oh, 
maybe I'll explain that in a different course but alright so what I did is to edit and just check off and force referential integrity most of the time uh, mo almost all the time you have to click on it so you see one faculty many students this is a symbol on both ways so let's see how we are in the stream of time we've actually completed everything and congrats if you have completed your own successfully so this has been informative for you uh, like the video uh, subscribe to my channel for more uh, uh, lessons on database and other subjects so I remain kind on the tech pro and I would like to thank you for joining me